Hi guys, I'm Philip Simo from zelfield.tech. Today I want to share with you how to debug remotely a Spring Boot or a standalone Java application with IntelliJ IDE. First of all, what is remote debugging? It's the act of using a debugger to debug an application that is not running on the same machine as where the code is hosted. You have an application running on the cloud and you want to debug the code of that application from your local computer. This is different from local debugging where the code and the application are running on the same host. Okay? For that, you just have to click on a simple button in your favorite IDE. We are going to illustrate remote debugging by using the simple Spring Boot application. The source code is hosted on the local host, my computer, and the app is running in a Docker container with a different IP. Okay? Remote debugging is possible thanks to the Java Debug Wire protocol DDWP, which is the protocol that used between the application and the debugger. So as many other protocols, we need a server listening to the connection of a client. The server is the JVM running the app and the client is the debugger hosting the source code. First of all, client configuration. In IntelliJ, do this, Control shift a then search for configuration and click edit configuration. This is the wizard for defining configuration on how IntelliJ runs our debug applications. Click on the plus on the top right to add a configuration. Select remote and rename it if you want. Leave the default configuration as we want to get connected to the remote GVM as soon as the client starts. Set the host address to the server IP address which is this for my Docker container. Then make sure your source code project is selected here. IntelliJ then generates for us the JVM arguments that we have to use when starting up the server. Copy them and apply your configuration. Secondly, server configuration. Configuring the server means starting the server in debug mode with previous JVM arguments. This is the command for starting my application from my Docker container. Just paste the argument where you have your command, okay? When I run my container, the command to start the Spring Boot app is run. And you can see this line telling me the server is listening for debuggers on this port. Now, if I get to the browser and try to get my endpoint, the execution catches the breakpoint. And I can play with that as you usually do with local debugging. Now you can run your application even on the cloud and debug it locally. Okay guys, thanks for listening. This was Philip Seymour from Zellfield.tech. Let's go. We see the hype outside. Right from the house. Uh.